when you're telling me that I can go to sleep and I can wake up with my lashes already done, sign me up. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be talking about all things Lashify. Lashify is a DIY at home lash extension brand and I'm gonna be talking to you guys all in depth and in detail, giving you guys all the deets about Lashify and how much I love it, what the products are, how to use them, just everything. So if you've ever asked me before about my lashes or if you saw pictures of my lashes, 99% of the time I am wearing Lashify. Also, follow me on my Instagram. I'll go ahead and link that in the description bar so that way you can see my lashes and pictures that I post. Also, click the subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and if you're interested in learning about how to do your lashes at home, just keep watching. First question that I always get is what is Lashify? So Lashify is an award-winning DIY at home lash extension brand. So basically you can create salon quality lashes by yourself at home. So basically that is what Lashify is. And the next question that I get is where do I start? What should I buy? So my recommendation to you would be to buy the control kit. I know that the control kit first off is really expensive, but it is worth every single penny because the more you try to piece products together here and there, you end up spending more money. And I feel like the control kit includes every single thing that you need to start doing your lashes and from that point, you can add on. So I'm going to go over my control kit, what all came in it, and I'm going to show you guys how to use it as well. So keep in mind, my control kit is old. I've been doing Lashify for more than a year now. So keep that in mind. So this is what the control kit looks like. It's super cute. It's all black. It has Lashify on the front and... It also has a really nice mirror. Mine is kind of dirty. Also, these are all the things that come in your control kit. And I'm going to be going over all of these things and letting you know what they are. So the first thing is a bonder. Now, this bonder is called Whisper Light. It's a double-sided bonder. And bonder is basically means it's the glue that's going to hold the gossamers which are the lashes to your natural lashes so it's double-sided so this side is a clear bonder it goes on white what I really like about it is that it has a pointy tip so that way you can really get in your lashes and get the bonder on them and the other side is a black bonder and it has a mascara wand what I like about this product is you do not need to use a lot. A little bit goes a long way. The next thing that comes in this kit is the wand. So this is the Lashify wand. From my understanding, there has been tons of companies and tons of brands that have tried to knock off this wand, but this is the official Lashify wand, okay? So this wand was ergonomically designed to help basically us, the consumer, apply their lashes comfortably. It was designed with the customer in mind. It's comfortable to hold. So basically you hold it like this. Um, I feel like learning to hold this wand and work with it is one of the harder things. So once you learn how to do that and you're feeling more comfortable, then you really can apply your lashes correctly. But this is the wand that came with my kit. They come in a bunch of different colors. Um, I don't even remember if I got to choose the color or not, but mine is just a violet purple color and it's super pretty. I like it, but it feels really sturdy. 
I've had this wand over a year. It has not broken. It hasn't given me any trouble at all. So you know that this is a good quality. The next thing that comes in this kit is something that goes along with the wand. So these little clear things are called wandums. I'm not even really sure if you guys can see these, but I'm going to place one on my wand. So they just slide on the front part of the wand just like this. And basically they protect your wand. Um, they also help with the bond not making your wand super sticky because the more sticky that it is, it's really hard to apply your lashes because your lashes are sticking to your wand instead of sticking on to your natural lashes. So basically the wandums really help with that. But honestly, I really don't use my wandums like that. I have them just in case I ever do need to use them. But I have only used them a handful of times and I've had my kit for a while. And the next thing that comes in this kit is glass. So glass is kind of like a sealer. So at the end, you apply your glass underneath your lash line where you have applied your lashes and your bond. Um, and glass kind of takes the sticky layer off. Um, and also helps with longevity of your lashes. So it's shaped like a mascara wand, but it has a ball tip point, which is really nice because you really can get underneath your lashes. What I like about all of these products is that they were really thought about. They were really designed um, to make the most out of every single tool, every single product, and they're really comfortable um, and you can get in the smallest spaces, the smallest creases. Those are all the tools and products that come in the control kit. And next, what will come in your control kit is lashes. So with Lashify, they're actually called gossamers. So these little things are called gossamers. My control kit came with C's and C's represent curls. Um, and this is what they look like. So it comes in this little black cartridge. Um, it has the type of lash on the bottom, so you can always keep up with your favorites. And then the lashes actually stick out of the little cartridges on the side. So you get about, let me count really quick. You get about 13 lashes in one of these. Um, and I normally use five on each eye and they also are reusable. So there's that. I still have some lashes that I've been using for about a year now. But when you first purchase Lashify, it comes in this really nice black box. I mean, the packaging is absolutely beautiful, but keep in mind, I've had mine forever. So mine might be a little bit messy. Don't judge me. So it comes in this big black box. And when you open up this box, I store a lot of my lashes in here. So legit, when I tell you that it's a mess, it's a freaking mess. Um, but I'm going to show y'all what's inside. So this black box is basically a storage case for all of your lashes. The gossamers fit in the cases so you can take one gossamer here and pop it into one of the circles and that way you can store your lashes so as you build up your collection and your supply you have a way to store your stuff so that's normally what i do and i also keep like some random gossamers in here because once you take them out of the cartridge you cannot put them back in so like I said, mine was super messy, but this is a great way to store your gossamers. Okay, so let's talk about all of the different tools and accessories that you need or do not need for Lashify. And also I'm going to give you guys some dupes so that way you're not spending so much money. So the first thing that you might hear when you start doing Lashify is the words pre-cleanse and melt away and all of that. So pre-cleanse is basically a cleanser that you apply to your lashes and around your eye to clean your eye and your lashes of any oil, any dirt, any leftover makeup, anything. Basically you're cleansing so that your lashes 
your gossamers will stick to your natural lashes and there will be nothing stopping them. So you're just making sure that everything is clean. Now, I have never purchased pre-cleanse at all. I'm sure that it is a great product, but I have always used Witch Hazel, which is the Dickinson's Witch Hazel. I use this one and I just take a cotton round and I just kind of wipe around my eye, make sure I wipe underneath my lashes, on top of my lashes, all around my eye, and that seems to do the trick. So I'm not saying that pre-cleanse does not work because I'm sure that it does, but Witch Hazel is a cheaper alternative to using that. Pre-Cleanse comes in two different sizes. So the smaller size is $31 and the bigger size is $48. So when you compare those prices to my Witch Hazel, which is less than $5, you can't beat that. And it's been working for me. So one day I feel like I will purchase all of that stuff, but for now, my Witch Hazel works perfectly fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert pictures so you guys can actually see the actual product since I don't have them. The next product is called Melt Away and Melt Away is basically when you're ready to take your lashes off, you can put a little bit on a cotton ball and hold it onto your eye for a couple of seconds. And then once you remove the cotton ball, the lashes come off in one piece. So the reason why you wanna use some sort of melt away or some sort of product, you are never supposed to pull your lashes off, like never. That is truly what's important in this, but let me tell you guys what I use. So basically, when I'm taking mine off, in between sets, I always give my lashes a break. When I take my lashes off, I use a little bit of olive oil. I put some on my finger and I kind of just move it around like this and my lashes come off. I would not recommend that if you're gonna do a new set because you don't wanna risk having oils on your, on your lashes. But you can also use micellar water, you can purchase the melt away, but that is just what works for me. I recommend doing something because like I said, you never just want to pull them off. Now I am going to tell you guys something because I know a lot of people get alarmed. Your natural lashes shed, okay? And so when you have on Lashify, you're not going to notice really any shedding. But when you go to take your lashes off, you are going to see some of your natural lashes with Lashify. And it's just because, just like our hair on our head sheds, your lashes shed as well. And when you have Lashify on and you're not seeing those natural lashes shed, you are gonna see some shedding when you take them off. So that does not mean that your lashes are falling out. That does not mean you're having a reaction or anything, but I do recommend doing some sort of allergy patch test because you just never know. Uh, some people are sensitive. You can have a reaction to something. You don't wanna place something on your eyelashes and then lose them off. So if you are someone who has known allergies or sensitivities, just really check into the ingredients also contact Lash Concierge. They are great with helping and answering questions. Always do a patch test first because we can't have any bald lashes. Melt Away retails for $21 and a bigger bottle retails for $38. So $21 actually is really not that bad. I'm probably gonna purchase that soon just so I can try it out and see how I like it so I can kind of get away from the oils but $21 is not bad because literally you need the smallest amount. The next product I'm gonna be talking about is Bondage. This is what the tube looks like. So Bondage is a extra strength bonder with Charco Flex in it. This is what it looks like. It's similar to like a lash kind of comb. Um, I would not recommend using Bondage if you are a newbie just because you need to get down the technique and you know get used to using whisper light and things like that but basically bondage is a extra strength bonder so you're going to get more wear with your lashes they're going to last a little bit longer the bond is a, is a lot stronger so a little bit goes a long way with this um you really do not need to use a lot it's super messy and it will get all over your eyes if you don't know what you're doing. 
so you have to really really be careful a lot of people use bondage after they've used flashify for a while and they're just looking to gain more longevity so that's what bondage is and you just have to be super super careful bondage retails for 25 dollars. also bondage has biotin in it and basically what bondage does is it absorbs any moisture so that way you know your hot showers your swimming anything like that you'll be able to do those things if you use bondage it's also waterproof and it is antibacterial and antimicrobial so that is great to keep all those germs away from our eyes and once again that is bondage and this is $25 so I know when you see the tubes you're thinking like gosh that's such a small tube for the price but literally you do not need to use a lot of these products um so you get your money's worth this is a high quality extension brand this is not cheap whatever you get what you pay for basically if you want to shop cheap then your lashes are going to be falling out in a freaking mess but when you invest in your lashes your lashes are going to always look good and also i forgot to mention that the control kit that i showed you guys earlier which is this the control kit which I recommend starting out with is $150. And I know that might seem like a lot of money, but I used to get lash extensions and I paid that for one service. And at least with this control kit, you're using it multiple times. So really it is an investment, but it's very much worth it. So the next product I'm gonna be talking about is Night Bond. So this is what Night Bond looks like. Night Bond reminds me kind of like a black eyeliner. Basically, you apply Night Bond to reinforce the longevity. If you're paying attention to the things that I'm saying, a lot of the words that I'm using are reinforcing longevity because that's what we want when we use Lashify. And Night Bond retails for $23. Basically, when you are putting on a set of lashes, you want to fuse with your wand first and then apply Night Bond. You do not fuse after you apply Night Bond. Night Bond, once you apply that, you're not doing anything else to your lashes because they really need to set with Night Bond on them. And when I'm talking about fusing, I probably forgot to mention, but when you are fusing, you are basically, you know, pressing your lashes together with the gossamer and your natural lash. So that's what I mean when I mean fusing. So you're fusing your lashes together. So those are all of the, the products that you need for starting off. Lashify offers so many different products, but I feel like those are the basics that you need to know what they are before purchasing a kit. Also, there are bundles that include a couple of different products all bundled together. That might be a great way to save money. So now we're moving on to learn about the core gossamers you ask what are the core gossamers so with each control kit which retails for $145 there are three different core styles but these are gossamers these are what we call gossamers which are the lashes um so there are three different types and the three types are so the first type is amplify what i love about this system is that there is a lash style for everyone so when you get your control kit you get to pick from your core gossamers and these are just basic ones that you're starting off with. Amplify gossamers are more natural looking. They have the thinnest spine on a lash. I don't know if you guys can see because I have these these nails on, but this is a spine. The spine of a lash is basically the backing, but Amplify is gonna be your more natural, wispy looking lashes. So if that is your thing, then you can get Amplify. Two gossamers of the Amplify lashes in your control kit. Also, you get to choose what sizes that you want. So that way that's great if you don't want anything super long or super short, there are sizes to choose from. Now the next core gossamer is the bold style. So bold, it has a slightly thicker spine, but basically it gives you a look of as if you had mascara on, but you didn't have any clumping. So 
Most of these core gossamers are great for stacking, lashes, and things like that. And you'll learn more about that once you really get into this. But old lashes are, they also give you more of a curl effect. Now, the curl gossamer, which I received in my kit, but my kit is so old, I couldn't even tell you where my curl gossamers are, um, is the one that I purchased with my control kit and basically it gives you it's a combination between amplify and bold it's still very natural looking and has a lot of curl but it also gives your eyes a little bit more open effect a little bit more pop i feel like my eyes are always closed always closed so i like for my lashes to really open up my eyes so that is what the C Core Gossamer gives. And I'm also gonna insert pictures once again. There's also an Intimates collection. So whether your hair is ginger, red, brown, whatever, the Intimates collection has ginger lashes. It's, it has truffle lashes, which is black and brown mixed. It has mink, which is brown. There's literally so many options so many styles you can really customize your lashes to look how you want them to look but i'm gonna tell you guys what lash styles i love and what i am normally wearing so i love volume lashes i want my lashes to look big i want them to look voluminous i don't really care too much about length but i really love them to look like volumized so Lashify just had a big sale. Shout out to Sahara, the owner. She is amazing. Literally, there's always some sort of sale. And I feel like I'm dropping this video just in time for before the holidays because I know that there's gonna be some sort of sale. So you guys just be on the lookout. Also in the description, I'm gonna link their links, their Instagram. I'm gonna link a Facebook page where I learned everything on Lashify Life. It, it's basically a group where every customer, even some of the ed educators, you know, we share tips, we share tricks. A lot of people go live, you can post a question, you can find answers. So it, it really is a great resource, especially when you're starting out. But let's get into what I like. So basically the lashes that I love is the Extreme Lashes and they are the E Gossamers. So E stands for Extreme and what they resemble is the Russian volume. So if you are familiar with getting professional lash extensions done, then you know the Russian volumes, they are very big and very volumized. So that's truly what I love. I also love the fluffies. They just give your eyes a wide eye look. They kind of look wispy and flirty. So I love those too. So like I said, Sahara, the owner, she did a buy one, get one. Volume lashes are more expensive than like the core lashes. So these were like $25, I feel like, but I forgot exactly how the sale went, but I bought six, I bought six packs and I only paid 50 bucks. So literally that is a really, really good deal for me. So I'm going to take some of these out of the package and I purchased E, I purchased a bunch of E's because that's what I'm going to be wearing a lot more now. I've come to the conclusion that they are my favorite. I have some E13s, which this is how they look. It's clear on the back so you, you can see the type of lash and then the front has Lashify. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up so I can show you guys. This is what E13s look like. And wow, they are like so voluminous. They're super pretty. And this is E13. So they're not super long, but they have so much volume that they look like they're super long. So like I said, I got E13, 14, 15, and 16. And basically they just get bigger. The higher the number, the bigger your lashes. So I don't wanna take all of these out of the package, um, but they just kind of look like the Russian volume lashes. And then I got some fluffy lashes, which is what I mostly wear. So I got some F14s and I got some F16s. So these are the fluffies and in comparison, they don't look as thick as the, the E's because the E's are Russian volume and these are just a little bit more wispy. So this is what they kind of look like. 
for like that open eye flirty effect but I've been wearing fluffies for a while and I'm ready for my ease to come back. I am so happy y'all don't even understand that I have wanted to do this video for so long um but I wanted to apply the lashes and I didn't want to put them on because I knew that I was doing like a Halloween look and I just didn't want to have to like mess with my eyes so much so now that halloween is over that's why i have on these crazy long nails um but now halloween is over and that's also why i look crazy this is the day after halloween that i'm filming this and first thing in the morning so um i'm just like ready to get my lashes on so i'm gonna do a voiceover within this video and i'm gonna show y'all how i put my ease on because i'm so ready to just you know have my lashes on it's been it's been a minute and I'm ready because once you wear Lashify, you will not go back to wearing strip lashes or anything else. Like nothing compares. This system is trial and error. Getting your lashes to last through the night is trial and error. You have to treat them like delicate flowers. You have to be super gentle with them. Like you can't be washing your face all crazy. You know, you got to kind of go around the eyes and this and that. Um, I do cleanse my face sometimes when I'm in the shower and I'm perfectly fine. One tip that I will tell you about that, if your lashes get wet in the shower, when you get out, do not touch your lashes. Do not touch them until they dry. Actually, don't even touch them. Like if, if nothing is falling off, do not touch your lashes at all it will rebond it will reseal just do not if later that night you feel like you want to refuse them with the wand that's perfectly fine but do not touch them so this system is trial and error but if you guys purchase a control kit do not give up when i first started doing it i was like this is not working for me so it really took me a couple of months of really getting used to everything and also being on the lashify life group on facebook really 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 helped me because i learned a lot of tips and tricks from those ladies so today when I'm putting on my lashes I'm gonna be using the lockdown method and I will explain that to you guys later now that I've told you guys all of this information and hopefully you've taken some of this information in I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes because I am ready so stay tuned for the next part of this video and I appreciate you guys so much for watching if you are still here click that subscribe button and let's get started on these lashes before I get started with applying my lashes I just wanted to talk to you guys about cleaning your gossamers so basically since you know that this is a big investment Nobody has money to be buying a new set of gossamers every week, whatever. So basically, you can reuse your gossamers. What you'll need to use is some alcohol. The higher the content, the better. This is just what I have on hand. So this is only 50%, but I would recommend 70 to 90% alcohol. And what I do when I take my lashes off is I put them in a little container like this. I pour some alcohol in there and... I let them soak. Sometimes I've left them in there for the whole day, but basically you want to let them soak for at least an hour and then I always lay a paper towel out. I take a spoolie and I just kind of brush off some of the bonder, some of the glue and you know, I just keep on doing that. So there are ways to reuse these. Some gossamers last better than others. I use the volumes. I feel like they hold up a little bit better because they have a thicker spine. They're not gonna break down as much, but basically after you cleanse them, you just wanna make sure that they're super dry. So lay them out, especially if you plan on using them again, just lay them out, let them dry, and then later in the day, go ahead and apply them. So I've had some lashes that I've used for a whole year. So there are ways to get around with that. Also, Lashify has a Lux box, which basically you get a discount on your gossamers and you can choose a frequency of how much you want to receive. So I think there's a minimum of $40 a month, but you can choose if you want to receive a box every two weeks, every two months. Um, and also there's some time in between. So the gossamers are basically discounted 
um, when you are a Lux Box member. So basically, if you're used to subscription boxes, then it is the exact same thing. And it's honestly a great deal, especially I've done it um, every two months. And it's perfect because, you know, around that time, you might be wanting something new, especially when you're learning and you don't really know which ones that you want to try. It's a great way to do that. Also, guys, look out for sales. Follow Lashify on Instagram. Um, if you join Lashify Life, the owner always does live. Watch her live videos because sometimes here lately, she's been giving out codes so you can save money on this or that, you know, so... Also, Black Friday is coming up. The holidays are coming up. I know Lashify is going to have a sale, so just keep your eyes open. Let's get started. I'm ready to do my lashes. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So in this clip, I am just cleaning off my eye with some of my witch hazel. I'm making sure that I'm getting rid of any oils, old mascara, makeup, anything that could be left behind so that way the products will stick to my eyelashes. I also like to lift my underneath eyelashes up just a little bit just to make sure nothing is hiding. So now I am brushing my eyelashes with a spoolie brush. And by doing that, I'm just making sure that my eyelashes are separated. I'm doing one sweep of the black side of Whisper Light on my lashes. You really want to make sure that you apply that very carefully. And the next thing I'm doing is waiting for one minute. I also forgot to mention that there is this blow tool that you can purchase with Lashify. And it's kind of like a pump. Um, that blows out air and basically while you're waiting it dries your lashes so I just like to set a little timer on my phone for one minute and it counts down so one minute is up and now I am going in with bondage you have to be really careful when you're applying bondage because it's very messy so I am lightly coating my lashes with bondage and now we're going to wait one minute again. I'm just trying to kind of get some air to my eye just to help it dry a little bit. Bondage is very sticky, so sometimes your top lashes can kind of stick to your bottom lashes. So that's why I'm looking crazy, trying so hard to keep my eyes like stretched out and open. And this is the lockdown method that I'm doing. This method is supposed to give you a lot of longevity and I can attest to that because I get at least 10 days when I do this method. Now I'm going in with the clear side of Whisper Light. I'm just taking the pointy tip and the side and I'm placing a light layer of Whisper Light at the base of my lashes. So, so far I've applied one coat of Whisper Light the black side, then I went in with bondage and now I'm applying Whisper Light the clear side underneath and I'm waiting one minute. So now I have picked up a E14 Gossamer and I am placing it at the base of my lash line. I know that it's a little difficult to see, but you really want to avoid your waterline. So normally I don't even lift up my eye like that, but for the sake of this video, I'm just trying to show you guys. And also you want to place them kind of close together so there are no gaps. The reason why you don't want to put them on your waterline is because it can be very irritating and if you can close your eyes and blink and it hurts then you know you have placed them on wrong you can already tell a difference just from 
my eyes of how longer my lashes look on the other side. What I'm not showing y'all that I'm doing is I'm also placing a little bit of the Whisper Light on the spine of each gossamer before I place it on my eye. Now I'm picking up my third gossamer and placing it at the base of my lashes. See, when I lifted that up, you could see the kind of skin kind of color. So you want to be able to see that part because you do not want to place your lashes on that waterline. They're looking so good already. And I'm going in with one more gossamer. And you can see once again, I did not place that on my waterline. See, when I lift up my lashes. So here's where you can tell the big difference, especially when I look down, you can tell and you can see the volume. I decided to show you guys on this eye as well, but I'm doing the exact same thing. And you can see that the gossamers are placed at the base of my lashes. And these are the E Extreme Gossamers that I'm using. And I'm placing another gossamer. So I think this is the fourth gossamer. And it really just depends on your eye shape and how big your eyes are. That determines how many gossamers you can get on one eye. On this particular eye, I can get five gossamers, but on my other eye, I can only get four. Um, and I think it's because on my other eye, I don't have very many inner corner lashes. So that's what I'm working on on this eye is putting on my inner corner gossamer and the inner corners are the hardest to apply. Okay guys, so that's it. You can tell that there was a big difference between before and after. Here, I'm just showing you what my lashes look like after I've got, gotten them both on. I hope you guys have learned something from this video and I hope you check out Lashify. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you all. I will link all things Lashify in the description box. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.